Welcome, welcome online. Today is yoga with a focus on twists. So welcome. Okay, so today we've got yoga, focus on twists. Yes, twisty yoga today. So we're gonna start on our backs. Just stable on our back, no twist yet. Just stable on our backs, feeling our uh, entire back body, pressing on the mat, closing our eyes. And as you close your eyes, start to breathe in and out through the nose. And I'll come around with some oil, which you can um, have. If, I'm, if I see your hands facing up, I will go ahead and dab a little oil onto your hand. You can then smell the oil, like rub your hands together, smell your oil. And really the only focus right now is for you to put the rest of the day on pause for a moment and just focus on what's happening at this moment. What your back body feels like the sounds around you. So hopefully if you're at home, you've got a little playlist going. The sensations of your body and how they feel today. It's almost like an evaluation time. And then think about what brought you to the mat today. What it is you're craving from the class today. And then for the next 10 breaths or so, see if you can start to inhale and exhale through the nose with a little more sound. And see if each breath you can just lengthen both on the inhale and the exhale. Taking a nice deep inhale from wherever you are. Sip in a little more air. So see if you can breathe in just a little further. When you feel you can't take any more in, open your mouth, open your eyes, exhale it all out. Good, start to bring the knees into the chest. Bring your hands over your knees. Break up your hips a little bit. And then guide your knees all the way to the right. First twist of the hour. And then as the knees are guided to the right, point your nose to the left. Stretch your left leg long, roll the ankle. In one direction and the other. Good, bring the knee back to a bend and just recline the knees up and to the other side. 
to my left. And then point your nose to the right. And then you can stretch out your leg and maybe roll the ankle. All right, bring the knees back and forth a few times from right to left. So now we're doing rotations and twisting, but a little more dynamic. Link the breath to it. So inhale to one side, exhale to the other side, a few more times. Good. And then the next time the knees point up, inhale. And then as you exhale, stretch your legs long. Good. Take your arms over the head, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands behind your leg and kind of fold yourself in half as best as you can. This is a forward fold from your back. Good, use a little momentum, lower your head for a moment just to come up. And then bring your right sole of the foot in towards your left inner thigh, reach arms up on the inhale and forward as you exhale. And then once you fold, inhale, create a little space and then exhale, fold a little further. Just waking that right hip and that back of the left leg a little bit more. Good, so inhale, reach up, lengthen. And then as you exhale, point your right knee up, hug that leg in, reach your right arm back. You can anchor your fingertips down or reach them back. Just a, a twisted seat. So it's a twist from a sits bones. Mm -hmm. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the right, pull the left in. And then here we go again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, opening that left hip and the back of the right leg. Good breathing, reach up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the other side. All right, look forward, inhale. Let's start moving. Crisscross, applesauce, tabletop position. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Start to roll like you're stirring the pot, but from hands and knees. Now you can make these tiny little circles or you can get really creative and get very lengthy in your movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reverse those little circles. So diving in to the wrists and the hips and the feet. You got it. Take your inhale, tabletop position. And then as you exhale, stack your knees together and send your left leg back. Make sure your toes point down and then reach your right arm forward. Make sure your thumb points up. Good, tap it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right arm back, left knee in. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee in, left arm back or right arm back. Keep the knee in, bring the right hand down, step that left foot forward and then come off the back knee. Grab your blocks and shift forward and back. Now start to shift back and lengthen the legs and then forward. And the, these are all like little invitations and options. You don't have to do it all. If it works for you, you do it. If it doesn't work for you, you skip it. The next time you stretch back, stay stretched. Okay. From here, decide whether you want to put your right knee down. It might be a little bit easier for you. Keep your left hand slightly in front of your left shoulder, maybe with the block. Scissor the thighs and start to see if you can re reach your left arm back. Good, now bring your left arm up, bend your left knee and walk your left foot a little bit more to the left. Good, decide down or stay up and then straight and bend it three times. Straighten the front leg and then online, you can see that Amanda has her legs straight and I have it bend forward. One more, straighten the front leg and then bring it in. Good, nice little twist. Bring your left hand down, walk your hands over to the right, bulldog. So it's down dog with wide legs. That's our first down dog today. Your toes are neutral, so they point straight ahead and then your hands move as far out as you can. Pulse your chest a little bit, feel that, feel the stretch. This is really good because we do a lot of driving and texting and computer work. So this opens up the shoulders and the chest. Inhale fully. <sighs> Exhale, bring your hands under the shoulders. Bring your left hand under your nose. I'm gonna use my block. And then I'm gonna spin my right arm up, different twist. You'll feel this a lot on that left inner thigh. Maybe make a fist and roll the wrist. Maybe open and close the hands or snap those fingers. Good. And then look down on the inhale, bring your hands down. And if you have your blocks, bring them back to the front of the mat, okay? your first regular down dog of this hour. So you're welcome to use blocks for this first one if you want. Step those legs back, you're in down dog. Take those big toes, separate them so you can fit about a dollar in between them. And then make sure your hands are grounded, fingers forward. Pulse your chest a few times. Internally rotate your thighs. Can you take an inhale here? Exhale fully, and then on your next inhale, shoulders over wrists. Drop your knees if you need to. Okay, keep your hands grounded. If your knees are dropped, you're gonna rock to the only the left knee and you're gonna twist from your belly button, only from your belly button. Look at my hands, my hands are grounded. I'm twisting just from my belly button. If you're not on your knees, you still twist from your belly button. Come back to neutral, belly button down. My hands are still anchored. Twist from your belly button to the other side. So you can put your right knee down if you want. All twisty. Good, come back to center, inhale, knees to the floor, exhale. Okay, take your blocks out of the way. Hands and knees, bring your knees together. It's the right leg that stretches long. And then it's the left arm that reaches forward, thumb up. 
Inhale, and as you exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Tap it down. Inhale, lengthen. Pull it in. Keep the knee in. Bring the hand down. Step the foot forward. Here comes my blocks. Come off the back knee and just shift forward and back a little bit. And then you can start to straighten the front leg. And the next time you straighten the leg, keep it straight, keep lengthening. Left hand stays, remember this is not easy. So it, you could put your left knee down, okay? And then rotate to the right. So whether my knee is down or my knee is up, I'm rotating to the right. And then go ahead and bend the front knee, taking your right arm up. And then this is where we go forward and back a few times. So exhale, long leg in the front. Inhale, bent leg. And I could do it with my knee down. Exhale, long leg. Inhale, bent leg. One more. Exhale, long leg. Inhale, bent leg. Good. Take your hands, walk them to the other side, bulldog, second side of a bulldog. Stretch it, lengthen. This time maybe lift your toes and then place them back down. And then you're gonna walk your right hand under your gaze. I'm gonna press into the block and then I'm gonna left mark, my left arm comes up. You can make a fist and roll your wrists, open, close hands, snap fingers. You're stretching your inner thighs a little bit, part of your spine. Nice and twisty. And then bring your hand down, walk yourself to the front. I'm not gonna use my blocks for this second down dog, but you may, second down dog of the hour. Level it all out, broaden your shoulders, spin your inner elbows forward, inhale. Open your mouth, exhale. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, keep your hands as they are, just twist your bottom body, to belly button to the right. And then inhale center, and then exhale twist, just twist, belly button to the left. And then inhale center, exhale knees to the floor, elbows back, lower all the way to the belly. Three cobra poses, so forehead down, tops of the feet down or tops uh, of the nails down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Twice more. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Last one. Your cobra. You can move it as high or as low as you wish. Exhale, child's pose. Knees apart, toes together. And then maybe, just maybe, you can stay on your elbows and bring your hands towards the back of your neck. So we're gonna work through approximately three flows. They won't be super long, but they're gonna be twisty. 
and there's going to be different degrees of spiciness in them, all right? Taking your inhale, bringing your palms down. Let's find your first down dog of the flow. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bring your big toes together if you can. If not, they stay apart. Inhale, take your first chair pose. Okay, as we exhale, left forearm to the thigh, right arm up. Twisting from a chair. Keep your hips slow, look down. Inhale, reach your arms up, chair pose. Exhale, twist to the other side, forearm to the thigh, left arm up. Look down, inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Reach your arms up high, inhale. Keep grounded with four corners of your feet, twist to the right. Come back up, inhale. Twist to the left, exhale. Come back up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Walk your dog back out. Feet are together or they will come together and right leg will lift up as we inhale. Bring the left knee to the floor, exhale. Inhale, lift, lift the right leg up a little higher. Exhale, pull the knee in towards the nose. Inhale, stretch the leg long. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose and slightly to the twist to the left. Inhale, pull the knee nice and long. Exhale, step the foot all the way forward. So the knee comes in, foot comes forward. Stay on or off the back knee. Send your arms all the way up. Steady crescent pose. Good. Drop that back knee. Water wheel twist to the right. And then inhale. Come all the way up. Twist to the left. Inhale, come all the way up. Twist to the right. Inhale, come all the way up. Warrior two to the left. So I'm anchoring my back foot. My front knee bends and moves slightly to the pinky side of the foot. We're going to take three pumps here. So reach your arms up, inhale, and then back out, exhale. Two more, inhale, back out, exhale. One more, inhale, back out, exhale. Stay here. Twisty, exalted warrior. So we're going to send your right arm back. Stretch it, lengthen. Now take your left arm and twist your torso forward. Like you're pressing against a stop sign. Press, press. Good. Bring your left hand down. Bring your left heel up. Nice lunge twist. Inhale. Right hand down. Take the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Bring your foot down so both feet are together. High plank inhale. Lower the knees if you need to, lower to the belly. Exhale. Cobra inhale. Down dog, exhale. Anytime you can stay on your knees or you can go into your knees and take your version of down dog on your knees. Take your next inhale here. Let's unplug the hands and walk them back. 
Okay, chair pose, here it goes, inhale. This time twist to the left first. Now you can do what we did last time, forearm to the thigh, gentle twist, or you can take your elbow to the in outside of the leg and go a little further, thumbs to the heart. Long spine though, crown of the head forward, tail back. Looking good, look down, unravel the twist, just to reach your arms up. Don't let go of the legs yet, okay? And then as we exhale, gentle twist to the right or a more intense twist to the right. It's up to you and how you feel today with your back. Looking down, unravel the twist, inhale, stand up tall, exhale. You got it. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, bring the right heel up or maybe bring the right knee up, hold it here. Great balance, drop the knee, bring your arms up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Just bring the left heel up or try bringing the left knee up. Mm -hmm. Bring it back down. Reach your arms up high, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Walk your dog or if you're feeling feisty, float into plank pose. So you can walk or hop your hands as you float. Nice, lower all the way to the floor. Cobra, inhale, down dog, exhale. Okay. Lengthen the toes. You can even pulse the chest a little bit. Our big toes come together. And the right leg will lift up. And then it'll come down. Did we do the left leg at all on the other side? No, I don't think so, right? So left leg comes up. <laughs> Pull the knee into the chest. Put the right knee down if you need to, okay? Bring again, the left leg up high. Pull the left knee into the chest and slightly twist it to the right. Bring the leg nice and long, inhale. Exhale, pull the knee in through and step all the way forward. Come off the back knee if you can, bring your arms up. So you want the back heel to be high. Even if your knee is down, your back heel is high. You stretch different parts of your body. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back up. Find your balance. This is a hard one. Twist to the right. Bring it back up. Inhale, twist to the left. Bring it back up. Exhale, warrior two. Three pumps in warrior two. Before we do that, make sure your left foot is slightly to the left kind of heel to heel alignment or even further out than heel. Here we go, three pumps, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, stay here. Relax your shoulders, keep looking past your fingers, and then bring your left arm up and back. Keep the legs, keep the legs, keep the legs, and now twist, exalted warrior. And then look forward, right hand down, right heel up, twisted lunge.
Replace the hand or replace the foot with the hand. Inhale, send that left leg long, exhale. On this side, bring the foot down or keep it up. You decide. High plank, inhale. Lower to the belly, exhale. Cobra is your inhale. Down dog or child's pose, you decide. Exhale. Really lengthening, three more breaths. Second flow coming up. So as you inhale, stay where you are. As you exhale, come into down dog and let's unplug the hands back. Anchor through the feet, roll all the way up. Lift your arms up, inhale. Send yourself into a chair, exhale. So we're gonna get a little more dynamic. We're gonna reach up as you inhale. Twist to the right and squat a little bit. Exhale, reach back up, inhale. Twist to the left and squat, exhale. Bring it back up on your inhale. Lower down, bring your hands to the floor and either walk or Slide yourself into high plank. Lower all the way to the floor. Cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale. So watch what you'll do. From here, you're gonna look forward and on your inhale, you're gonna walk or hop your feet outside of your hands. It's gonna be a nice squat. And then you're gonna Come all the way up on the inhale. And bring your hands together, feet together. You don't have to hop them, you can walk. Then we gotta do it again. And then move into down dog. Look forward, walk or hop the feet outside of the hands, inhale. Exhale, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms on your inhale, step back into down dog. So plank to down dog, exhale. Okay, look forward, inhale, walk your feet outside of your hands or hop them. And then stand up, bring your feet together. Or even if it's walking. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Plant your palms, inhale, lengthen. Walk or hop, back. last one like this. So inhale, look forward. Walk or hop your feet outside of your hands. Come all the way up on the inhale. Feet come together. Exhale, reach up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Plant your palms, inhale, walk or hop back. High plank to down dog. Feet come together at the back of the mat. Drop your left knee if you need it. Right leg comes up high, inhale. Knee into the chest, twist it to the left, exhale. Two more exactly like that one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist it to the left. So you can do it with your knee down. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist it to the left. Inhale, lengthen. This time you just step it forward. Exhale, stay with your left hand grounded. Twist in your lunge. Twist from your belly button and from your torso. Okay, now most of us are gonna put the left knee down for this next thing. We're gonna move into water wheel. So your left knee can come down or not, okay? And then if, you're, if you want it to be up, it comes up. If you want it to be down, it comes down, but we tried to come up into water wheel from wherever you are. So knee down or knee up. 
Good, then the right hand comes to the small of the back and the left arm comes up and you twist even further. Good. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. So come all the way through. Your arms are like little he helicopter arms, warrior two. One pump, that's it. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, warrior two. And then right arm up, exalted warrior. So send your right or left palm forward, twist. And then come back to warrior two, straighten out the legs. Triangle pose, reach to the right, inhale. Right hand on the thigh or the leg. Left arm up. All the way up nice and tall, inhale. Turn the feet towards the center, exhale. Bring your hands to the small of the back, open the chest, inhale. Forward fold is your exhale. Good. So this is a great place to have a block. You can walk your block out with your left right hand forward and then take a twist by sliding your left arm to grab the thigh or the lower leg and looking under your right arm. Spread the toes. Looking down, untwist or unravel. Inhale, lift your head a little bit, lift your torso. Exhale, further fold over the legs. Headstanders, go for your headstand if you want. Five breaths. Taking one more big inhale, wherever you are. Start to come down and ground as you exhale. Root and rise halfway up, inhale. Hands to the waist, pause, exhale. And then come all the way tall as you inhale. Bring your feet closer together and then hop them together. Hop them apart. Turn everything to the front. Right hand to the waist, left hand up, maybe with the block. Okay. Left arm up, reach forward and bring your block under your shoulder. Great opportunity to lengthen on the inhale and rotate. Deep twist, ground your feet, rotate from your belly button, from your mid belly, from your chest. And then we're all gonna look down, stay in the twist, just look down. And then a few of you, not everybody, will be able to walk that hand forward a little bit more with or without the block and either come off the back heel or come off the back leg. Optional, completely optional. Gonna square the shoulders. We're gonna bring that second hand down and we're all gonna fold over the right leg. Let's come off the back leg if you weren't already. Great opportunity for you to keep it simple and fold with hands on blocks or whatever you've got. Or you can plant your palms firm on the floor 
and work on your handstands if you want, or at least coming off and on that right heel. If you're working on handstands, make sure you're clawing the floor with your fingertips. Inhale wherever you are. We're all going to exhale to down dog. So wherever you are and how you want to do it. High plank is your next inhale. Lower to the belly on the exhale. Cobra is the inhale. Child's pose. Exhale. A little water. Towel dry. Okay. So stay in child's pose. Just pick up your head and look towards me, whether you're home or you're here. So we're going to move back into down dog. Before we do second side, we're going to take our little hops forward, but I'm abbreviating them a little bit. So walk or hop the feet out. Okay. You're going to inhale, reach up tall. Then you're going to exhale, forward fold, and then walk or hop back to your down dog. So we won't do that little chair thing that we did before. Okay? So it doesn't have to be a hop. It could be a walk. And whether you're walking or hopping, you're working into your hips. So it's so beneficial in so many ways. Okay? Inhale wherever you are. Find yourself in your down dog. Light as a feather, look forward, catch your air and walk or hop the feet outside of the hands. There's your inhale. Exhale, hop together, hands together. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, fold and then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk or hop, down dog. Light as can be. Look forward. Inhale, walk or hop feet outside of your hands exhale feet together you got it inhale slow reach up exhale fold anchor lengthen inhale walk or hop hands grounded feet back down dog. last one best one look forward inhale walk or hop feet outside of the hands Exhale, stand up and in one round, feet together. Slow inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, prepare and lengthen. Step or hop back, down dog. Here we go, feet together, back of the mat. Maybe the right knee comes down. Left leg lifts, inhale. Knee into the belly and twist to the right, exhale. Twice more like that one. Inhale, lengthen. Slow as can be. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step the foot forward. Drop the knee. Both arms reach as we inhale. And then stay with your knee dropped or lifted. Go right into a lunge twist. I almost messed up. Lunge twist. So you can keep your knee down or you can lift it up. You're twisting. I like to walk my left foot to the left a little more because then it gives me more space. Okay. And then remember, knee up or down, we're going to try to come off the right hand into water wheel. Left hand to the small of the back, right hand up, twist. Great hip opener, great little twist. Inhale fully, 
Exhale, warrior two. So cartwheel those little hands out like little hop helicopters, blades, and go right into it. Just one pump. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen, triangle to the left. Reach to the left, inhale. Left hand on the thigh or the leg or a block, right arm up. Spread the toes, anchor through the corners of the feet. Imagine you have a wall behind you. Bring your head back against that wall, your shoulders back, your hips back. And then root and rise, inhale. Bring your arm all the way up. Bend your knee, exalt your warrior. And then come on done, turn your toes neutral on the inhale. Here it goes again, hands to the small of the back. This time, see if you can interlace your fingers behind you and draw your shoulders closer together behind you. Inhale, and then exhale, fold. Getting a nice shoulder stretch. Bend your knees a little bit if your back is twitchy or twicky or... You make adjustments to help you. So sometimes you need to make your own personal adjustments. Move your head like you're saying yes. And then you can move your head like you're saying no. And then you're gonna release your arms and through, pl place them through your legs. So the crown of your head is almost on the ground. If it touches the ground, you can go ahead and bring your legs up in the air. Ooh la la. Really focused on your breath. We're either working on lengthening those inner thighs, or strengthening. Slowly anchor your feet back down, palms grounded, chest lifted. Inhale, hands to the waist, pause, exhale. Root and rise, inhale. Toe heel the feet a little closer together and then hop them together. Hop them halfway apart. Turn everything to the front. Grab your block if you'd like to use it. Right arm up on the inhale. Exhale, right hand under the shoulder. Scissor the thighs towards each other, inhale. Exhale, roll, revolve, belly button to the left, chest to the left, maybe left arm up. Stay like that, just look down. And then if you're up for it, walk your right hand forward and try coming off the heel or off the foot. Good, bring that left hand down. We're all coming off the top back leg. If you can, hands on blocks, on a chair, on the floor, dial the right toes down and simply fold over that left leg or walk your hands until they're flat and try your handstands if you want. So keep pulling in, keep pulling in, pull in, pull in, pull in. Yes. Yes, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
down dog when you're ready. <laughs> Inhale, child's pose, rest. Actually, I changed my mind. It's not child's pose, it's saddle pose. So it's like child's pose legs, but by the front. Okay, and I'll show you why. We're gonna roll the, the calves out. We're gonna either sit on a block, if you have a block, or if you don't need a block, sit in between your little feet and bring your hands back and either stay here or recline. Keep reclining back as much or as little as you want. Lengthening through the entire front body, tops of the feet, knees, thighs, hips, belly, chest, and shoulders. Slowing down your breath. Five more breaths. Slowly coming up. If you're not up already, just come up. Okay. Bring your little feet behind you. Sit behind your feet. Right knee points up. Just a little twist to the right. Right? Okay. <clears throat> So you can stay with your twist to the right. A few more breaths. And then go ahead and untwist. And then slight little gentle twist to the right or the left, I'm sorry. Looking good, come back to center, second side. Okay, so twist to the left first. And then gentle twist to the other side. Yeah, so we're gonna twist again, and this time it's gonna be more involved. So you have two options, one from a seated and one from a arm balance pose. So starting very similarly like this and twist, but you can grab your either um, ankle or your outer foot and try to work the legs straight and then try to work the arm straight. This is one option. And then a nice other option you can do, if you look towards me, I can, create that little twist that we did earlier when we were on our chair. We were on a, this little chair like this. Now you can come into your hands from that chair, look over to the left and try to come off both feet or at least one foot. Just build strength in your upper body, okay? And you can play with extending one or both legs while you're here. Okay, so gentle seated twist like this, or you can take a more involved arm balance twist. Okay. 
We'll all look forward. We'll extend the legs. Neutral little forward fold before we do the other side. So inhale, reach. Exhale, soften. So I like to keep my knees bent. If you, if you have any issues with um, herniations on your back, you wanna keep your knees bent and your back straight. But if you don't have any history of herniations, you can round your back over your legs. Neutral forward fold. Good, and then from here, upright the torso and we'll do a neutral reverse plank. So two ways to do reverse plank like this with your knees bent, it looks like a reverse table like that. Or you can extend your legs. So instead of with these knees bent, knees straight, a little more intense, especially on the shoulders. And then come down when you're ready and we'll do that twist to the other side, All right? So similar to the first one, except we're extended. And extended back. Okay, and then if you wanted to do that little chair arm balance, you would just come into your chair and twist like you did earlier, but then your twist comes grounded with your hands up with your little feet and you can play with your legs however you want. We'll all come undone when you're ready and a nice simple recline onto your back. Windshield wipe the legs. There was your twisty flow. And just a nice, simple, neutral, one minute breath um, awareness um, pose. So we'll bring the soles of the feet together, one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest, just noticing your breath. So inhaling, feeling the belly blow up, kind of balloon. And then the chest expand. And then exhale, feeling everything shrink and release. You can start turning inward by closing your eyes. Relaxing your arms out, bringing your knees up maybe stretching the right leg long. And if you have a strap or a towel or you don't need it, you can just use your hand. We'll just work the leg straight. Straight leg. If you have a strap, you can do what I'm doing where my leg is straight and my arms are over my head and I'm creating space, not just on my leg, but on my side body. With your leg straight, if you need to bend your knee a little bit, do so. Try to take your leg into a twist all the way to the left side. And then see if you can weigh down your right shoulder and maybe even look to the right. Inhale, come back to center and neutral. 
Exhale, relax the leg. Good, second leg, straighten it out. Scissor the thighs inward, create length. And then you can start taking the leg all the way to the right and then encourage the left shoulder down, maybe even look to the left if you can. Back to center, inhale. Come undone. So just relax your whole body over your mat. Soften your eyes, your jaw, your shoulders, your belly, your hips, your glutes, and then your legs. Soften your fingers and your toes. Take a nice long rest and I'll guide you back soon. And then I'll go ahead and place a little drop of lavender and citrus in your hands if, you, if they're facing up and you want it. You can actually rub your hands together and rub the oil on your temples. It's calming, refreshing. Staying here, keeping your eyes closed. If you're here in the studio, you place a little affirmation. 
under your mat. So as you leave, you can look at it. But I'm going to read this, this affirmation or this passage out loud. If you're online, you can listen to it. It says, well, it is a wonderful thing to experience love in a relationship. I know that it is far more critical that we love ourselves. This month, I focus on practicing my mirror work, standing in front of a mirror, looking deep into my eyes. I tell myself, I love you. I really love you. I work on healing any negativity that arises and move toward true self-acceptance. I realize that when I love myself as much as I can, all of life will mirror that love back to me and miracles will manifest. And start to wiggle your toes. Wiggle fingers. Come up to a comfortable seat when you're ready. Just maybe even closing your eyes as you sit with a nice good posture, giving yourself a nice big thank you for showing up today and working on yourself. And then thinking about what it is you wanna add as a positive quality to your rest of the day. And then once you have whatever it is you wanna to add to your day as a positive quality, bringing your palms together and taking a deep inhale as you pull in that positive quality into your deepest, deepest core. And then open your mouth, exhale out what no longer serves you today. Namaste. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for showing up. Thank you online. Thank you, thank you. Let me um, 